Hi guys, this is Orchid. So I'm finally finished with the upper portion of the china cabinet that I purchased. I already did the lower portion. I converted that into an entertainment stand. Now my plan is to cover it with this gold embossed fabric. I got it for a steal, guys. This was $3.50 per yard and I picked up three yards. My plan is to cover the sides and the top using this contact cement to glue that on now you will need one of those um, one use brushes from home depot and you have to brush that on rather quickly because the glue dries very fast using this wallpaper tool to smooth that on For the corners, I use the wallpaper seam roller. Now when you get to these points where fabric will meet, it's important that you get that neat and I use that tool. Doing the top was a little involved, so I decided to do the edge first, glue the edge on. And once I was done with that, I painted the glue onto the top, then glue that on. It's these points that is going to show whether your um, thing was done professionally, or you might want to fool people to thinking it was done professionally or that you bought it straight out of a store brand new. So do pay attention to those points. Now, when I put that gold fabric on, I decided to go with gold. And if you notice in the background, I had also painted the um, piece gray, but I changed my mind. It looked somewhat washed out. I decided to go with a very high contrast. I had black semi-gloss and chocolate semi-gloss paint. I mixed those two together and I got this rich, deep ebony um, color. And that's what I use. I painted the frames, I painted the bottom of the cabinet, the you know, inside bottom and the shelf ledge for the shelves. I'm also going to be putting the fabric onto the glass fronts and just make sure all your um, pieces match. Um, whatever point in the fabric that you cut for one, make sure it's the same for the other so it looks uniform. Now they, they did not look good when I just put that in on their own. So I glued it onto cardboard. Yes, guys, cardboard. But wait a minute. I then glued another piece on the other side. That's the inside. Um, so you're not seeing the cardboard. And I just used my glue gun to put that on. And then I packed that onto the, um, the doors. So it will have that real shiny, glossy effect when you open it. Now to the bottom where we're going to put legs on. Whatever fabric that was hanging, I just used some tag to tack that on. You will need these um, top plates for screwing the legs in. I picked these up at Home Depot. Now, I've never done this before, guys. So, I mean, I'm not a professional. Let me just say that. Not a professional. I just mark where I want it to go. Then I pre-drilled. I mean, using the, the same screws. And then I just screw those in. You just got to make sure that they are all at the same point on all four corners. I also put one at the back in the middle. I picked up five of these on Estee. They were $24.50, I think, but I had to pay $11 in shipping. Ouch. Now, I mirror the inside using these 12 by 12 mirrors from Lowe's, and I also use the 10 by 14s from Dollar Tree. And this is because the shelves were set at different heights. This is the glue I used. This thing is really good. They stuck it on immediately. If you notice, I just put them on and I could walk away. They weren't falling off at all. I decided to put a design on the door. This is what I came up with. I kind of changed it. 
Now to make sure you have the exact same measurements for the different heights you may use, I just use the first one I cut as a template for the others and I have this way of putting them together once I cut to make sure they are the exact height. Now I couldn't find a spray paint that matched the paint I make so I used black paint as spray paint as my primer and then I painted them with the paint I mix. The moldings that is of course. And this is how it turned out guys. I did this over probably two weeks. Um, I would do a little bit at a time and of course you saw that I went through different um, variations in style. I painted it gray then I decided to go with the gold embossed paper. I painted the frame, the frame gold. Then I switched to the um, to the chocolate brown, the ebony um, rather. And um, I used the same hardware that came with it. They were fine. Why spend money if you don't need to? Um, please let me know what you think, guys. I mean, what I would advise because the piece is so wide is for you to um screw that in onto whatever wall you put it at just to secure it in case you have children in the home and this is the inside i just love the mirrored effect now this piece also came with lighting I haven't changed it yet but i definitely will it's not wise to keep old electrical wiring I'm going to turn the lights on so you guys can see how it looks. Now overall this project cost me $102.50. Thanks for watching guys. Bye now.